How's it going, guys? My name's Ian, and this is Adam, and we're uh, we're here from Carytown Tobacco to show you how to properly set up and use your hookah today. Today we're going to be using a Khalil Mamoun hookah. They're uh, they're made in Egypt. They're some of the best hookahs out there on the market. They're the uh, they're the same hookahs that we use in our hookah lounge on Broad Street, and actually the same ones that we use in our home. Uh, today we're going to be showing you uh, how to build it from the vase up. So down here at the vase. We're, uh, we're going to put our water. It's what our smoke is going to filter through. On a Khalil Mamoun, we're actually going to fill our water up to this line right here. But with your hookah, what you're going to want to do <laughs> is fill up the, uh, the water an inch off the bottom of your down stem. So on this face, we're going to fill it up right to that line. Now you can play with that water level if you'd like. Have more water if you want a little bit more chug, a little less water if you want less resistance. It's all just personal preference. But what you're gonna do, on a Khalil Mamoun, this, uh, this down stem is all one piece. You've got a rubber grommet that's actually gonna seal our down stem to our vase. We've got our hose grommet. We've got our bowl grommet up at the top. Make sure that you have all three grommets before you start using your hookah because that's gonna make sure you have an airtight seal all the way through. With this guy, we're just gonna drop it down into the vase and secure it with that rubber grommet. All right, now moving up the hookah, we've got our hose attachment. On the other side of our hose attachment is called the purge valve. What this does is allow uh, any back pressure in the hookah to escape so that no water goes up your down stem and touches your shisha. Um, on the other side of your purge valve is gonna be your hose valve. And we're just going to take our hose and fit it in here. That rubber grommet will create a nice tight seal. And we'll keep it in there, we're gonna test it. Make sure to test your own hookah, make sure you have enough pressure in there, make sure you get in a nice draw, make sure your water line is at the right level. Um, moving up from there, we're actually going to put our ashtray right on top. This is just so that you can put your coals in there while they're heating up, or if you, know, uh, you and your friends decide to take a break, you can take your coals off the top and put them in your ashtray and scrape the ashes so you don't get any in your bowl, whatever the case may be, but it makes sure you don't have any ashes on your table at the end of the day. The last section to our hookah is going to be packing our bowl. Now today we're going to be using shisha from Hayes. We always like Hayes because they always provide us with good quality products. Uh, we like their shisha because they use honey rather than molasses. It, uh, it makes it a little bit sweeter and for me it makes the flavor last a little bit longer. Now with shisha, it's going to be wet tobacco. So you're going to want to break it up as finely as possible while you pack up in your bowl. The reason for this is so you don't get clumps of tobacco that will burn and taste bad once, uh, once you get going. So as you pack your bowl, you want it to be nice and fluffy. And you want to make sure that you don't get any shisha above the rim. Because if you overpack your bowl, then you're going to start to get that burnt flavor as well. And that's no fun. Right, now we packed our bowl. Clean my hands off here a little bit. Now we have individual hookah foils. You can buy these in rolls or in all else you can go to the grocery store and just buy a roll of aluminum foil. What you're going to do is you're going to put it over top of your bowl and make a clean seal all the way around. Make sure that's nice and airtight. And once you've done that, you're going to take something with a small diameter like a pin or a bobby pin or a needle or something like that and you're going to poke a whole bunch of holes in the top here. This is going to allow your heat to disperse through your shisha and allow airflow to actually go through your uh, through your coals. But it's also going to make sure that you don't burn any of your tobacco, so we're vaporizing instead. It should look like this when you're done. And after that, we're just going to set it right on top of the hookah. Once again, you want to make sure that little rubber grommet is there so you get a nice even seal. And last step is getting our coals. Now, for the sake of our demonstration, we're using some fast light coals, but in our hookah lounge and in our homes, we use uh, the Hayes coconut coals. These guys are eco-friendly. They don't have any accelerants. They don't have any sulfates. Basically, it's just gonna make sure you don't inhale anything extra, but when you're lighting your fast coal, what you want to do, take your coal, put it in your tweezers, and then take a lighter, I'm going to be using a butane torch just because it's a little bit easier, but you're going to want to light underneath where that little divot is, 
and you're going to want to burn off all of those accelerants. So you see those sparks flying off? That means that we're getting rid of all that bad tasting stuff. We're getting our coal lit nice and evenly. And once we see a nice ember on the bottom, we're going to go ahead and put that on top of our hoofing. Now you'll see that up here, I've actually arranged our coals in a little triangular pattern. What that's going to do is give us a nice even heat distribution all the way across the bowl and it's going to make sure that we have a nice, nice thick vapor. Now it should take you one or two or three draws in order to start getting smoke through your hookah. But once you do, it's as easy as letting it, uh, letting it heat up and passing it around to your friends. For all of us at uh, Carry Town Tobacco, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to come in to any of our uh, four locations in RVA. Or you can go to our website, carrytowntobacco.com. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Nice.